I, for example, I've been in a situation whereby I've been initially assaulted by my ex because somebody told her that they saw me in the club acting single. Not that I was rocking babes. Not that I was grabbing yash. You were acting they said they, were, they said I was acting single. How? And when I heard that, I was like, oh, Rodo Lily, as I was trying to go and I call her slap. She slapped you? Yeah. What did you do? What do you want? I'll leave that detail out of the conversation. Oh. I don't believe anybody should be assaulted. Fair enough. Man or woman. Slap the pain, oh. How does it feel? How does it feel to be, you know, <laughs> in a time where Amberhead lost the case to Johnny Depp? Let's not do this, please. Vector is here. Let's just forget. Let's not do this. How does it? Ah, it's, it's, hi, it's, Vector. Vector, I like... Stop, as, as as it, stop me. You're not on radio. You want to do hi, Vector. Hi, Vector. <laughs> no, be all those I, CTFM, this thing <laughs> we do, man. Hi, Vector. Package, package. Vector, package. I like, give me, please. I want me focused. <laughs> <clears throat> Vector, you're always looking so fine. I am. Um, thank you. <laughs> so Vector literally walked in here and all the girls from dancing, oh my god, Vector, oh do you get that every time? I'm sure you do. I don't know how well I don't think I try to deal with such things. I enjoy it actually. I just like <laughs> I, you know right? the, that's the, that's the realest answer to that. Bro, what the, they say, how do you deal with it? I don't deal with it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel um like, let it be, you know. <laughs> Shout out to the Beatles. Oh god. It's 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 a, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, cuz I always remind myself that people don't have to like you. Mm. So when you go out and they like you, ah, okay. Ah, you like me? Oh, ah, thank you. <laughs> so that's it. This 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 just reminds me of a tweet. I'm not going to say the person's name. South African rapper put out a tweet say Okay, a video comes out. A fan met, met meets him at I think a club or somewhere, and <clears> the <throat> fan is a guy, a young man. The guy they cry. The guy, they, oh my god, like you know that cry when we say the. So in this, the rapper now is like, yeah, man, <laughs> hold yourself together, fam. <laughs> On my Twitter was pissed. We like, how can you say that to your fan? How can you say that the guy, guy? No, even <clears throat> you're a man. He <laughs> changed his mind. And I, 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 I've had a moment like that. I mean, I, w- I wouldn't react that way. Yeah. Um, it was the night of the Freestyle Fury. Yeah. At Rhythm. And when I stepped out, there was this guy. I was walking, I was approaching the exit and he just came and he held my hands, shook them and it was vibrating so much. I was like, okay, calm down. Uh, calm. Calm. Well, you did okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, <clears throat> in my head, I was like, <laughs> 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 but that's the impact of music yeah and artists must like those type of things are fascinating hmm. because you just woke up one day and said you know um so i'm sitting here i'm rapping i'm putting shit together and before you know something i mean i like the way you do it. i'm like okay why though just because because I, I do it and i appreciate that so even with babes you have to draw boundaries because you know yeah me too Mm. <laughs> it's, no, it's not just me. T- I know they do. I need to go. Let me today, my life. <laughs> you stay away from such, I, bruh. I don't do. You stay anything away from such that will make you say me too. The one where if you talk me to, everybody be like, <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, because doing too much. You know, yeah, bruh. Me too. We all have sex. If it's you too, me too too then. <laughs> but, but be. I I I like consent. I'm a fan of consent every time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I will not I put think myself. It's an ego thing, to be honest. How do you mean? I feel like I can't have. Sex. I feel like it. I see a body that wants to fuck me. Mm-hmm. I love it. So if you are not interested, I'm not interested. Like if you, if your energy is not two hundred percent. Does he does he does he does, he does he does he hurt your ego when she's not interested? No. I just move. See, on. But don't you understand? First of all, like. It, it's because it's slippery, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of them That's are. A, question, a lot of them are. So you say no, all right, cool. Not unless if I really, really, really like you and I want us to be like more of more a than serious just, yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. yeah. But even at that, uh, while well, I already come with plenty, plenty women. When was the last time you actively like chased a woman? 
since you became a superstar like the first sex i had i didn't even chase <laughs> so i was <clears throat> i'm spoiled nine to five wise i never had a nine to five i've never written a letter to get a job in my entire life have i toasted a babe before yes i have i must have but a lot of times women just throw themselves not throw themselves like a lot of time women i don't mean to be disrespectful a lot of time women don't approach me and many times i you know a lot of women think i have shakara oh that's fine do you think you do do i think i do yeah <clears throat> i don't know what shakara is i just know that you know you can't just sleep with everybody what's that thing again oh they do bugu your to fair do ambility and when you do fair do what's ambility ambility even though abos bossy even like so you can't fuck everybody that no it's talkless you can't fuck everybody that wants to fuck you talkless of all the ones you want to fuck you can't you die now hello milo maria la him and that, and that's worth unemployed women <clears throat> really <clears throat> he wasn't even speaking to unemployed I'm, women he is talking <clears throat> to unemployed <throat> women don't use vector's words <clears throat> he's not using vector he's taking you his why are you triggered you are employed relax <laughs> <laughs> you are you are gainfully <laughs> <you are laughs> employed <laughs> our last conversation if you if you really think about that thing and what he said now italies yeah so vector was telling me something so vector and i were having a conversation right yeah so the first time I um interviewed Vector on radio. It was there was so much back and forth, you know. No uh, like people were texting, people were calling, like, oh wow, finally. The most the, the funniest part of it was someone texted and said, Oh, somebody, a man finally puts Melody in her place. This Vector, will you come back? <laughs> and, like, and, uh, and Vector that was would have liked for me to take your job. <laughs> I said, Welcome, sis, Melody's done. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, no, but <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like, wow. Do you understand? Like, wow. Because I was talking to Vector about about you know women's issues. Like, women go through this, women go through that, mm. and you know. So Vector came back um like last week and came back to the station, and and you know we were talking off air, and it was like Melody. I think we were talking about how there are so many positive things that women are doing that um and, and that there are so many role models when it comes to women. Uh, why why do we sometimes forget those people and try to highlight like the negatives like why can't you just put the energy towards the positive yes, and i'm no. like but there's so many negative things happening if nobody talks about it what's going to happen to those negatives mm. and i'm saying so why don't you be the positive influence that kind of like switches the negative because there'll be there'll be people who are talking about it and there'll be people who are working about it hmm. so which are you <clears throat> yes, we can have conversations and we can say oh truly you know women are marginalized but everyone technically is marginalized in one way or the other. Now I'm not saying it's okay for women to be maltreated. Yeah, of course not. Or handled like they're lesser. Do you know why it's always shocking to me? My sisters were the bullies in my life at a point. <laughs> so when they tell me say they must say marginalized who this devil. <laughs> Bra, my elder my elder sister demon. So one day, like, huh? <laughs> There's a reality where women are weak, <laughs> not these bastards. <laughs> because that's your reality. But then again, how then do we throw that away? Because you need those instances to fortify the mental strength of the women who feel marginalized. I hear you. No, you're making a point here, but I I hear you and no, but I'm just of the opinion that whether or not we. Whether or not we want to highlight the positive, sometimes it feels like we're creating a bubble where we're all just living in a in a land of utopia. There's so many things happening that if we continue to talk about the positives, what about those ones that are going through it? Should we just live in a utopian world and say, oh, oh. This is how I feel about racism and stuff. Yeah. How? How do you feel? So when, well, on one of these radio stations, I don't know if you can mention their names. Um, so there's an American that came in, <clears throat> excuse me, and she was very blown away that she's seen a lot of the majority is black hmm. she was blown away at that first and she was then blown away by the fact that uh-uh. they're wearing nike now the new shoe be this now <laughs> now get them for here so africa not really be uh-uh. like <clears throat> she's seen women in their natural hair weaves wigs like no my uh, uh, she's seen pretty women without makeup she's seen women with makeup like she's in nice cars rackety she's seen everything like wait you guys are legit just i'm like yeah and so my she cried when i said this to her because she felt really bad because her mother's side is indian oh, okay 
like native yeah, yeah. American. So mm-hmm. she understands. Right? And her father's side is black. Hmm. Oh. That's, that's marginalized on, on, <laughs> that's on steroids, on bro. As in, you see, I want this book here. If you see, imagine line there. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, all the page not imagine. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, right. But isn't it crazy that we would pinpoint times in history where we were down and teach it to the future leaders when it is also true that if you were raised as you're a princess, you're a princess, you're a princess, you eventually tell everybody in belief that you are a princess. Hence the need to focus on the positives. That's my point. So it's not like we're neglecting the negatives, but <clears throat> like I would say, if Jesus don't come, don't go and people see the grace. Hmm. And by heard. Doesn't that lead to erasure? Like if Bob Bandy don't come, don't go. If I don't come, don't go. And people see they behave the way that they behave. Maybe we should switch it up a bit. You know what I mean? Not the concept or the idea of the goal, but maybe the process towards mm. getting to the goal. So maybe if we build, bruh, why do you think is me? They say Chinese, they Nigeria say the Chinese that they do racism and everything. The first time where I say say one Lebanese, they talk to Nigeria and anyhow, <clears throat> I was I was there. I the only person talk. I just hear say this Lebanese guy they shout. I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it was business. Yeah. I was in a business and I was like, yeah, and I'm mm, excuse me. Daddy, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like and he says, you know, you know, if and he says to me, so if I come to your house, because this is a public place where people yeah, are yeah, yeah. buying drinks and food. And it's music too in the air. And he goes, <clears throat> if I come to your house, and is it okay for me to be disrupting your house because I'm a guest? You're my guest, dummy. You're in my house. This is oh, your house. So if I invite you to my house, I have to tolerate you as long as you're not being extreme. Now exactly. are they being extreme? And he says, No, I know what I'm saying. I mean, I know I, I, I know you may know what you're saying, but I don't care about what you know. I'm telling you that you don't speak to a Nigerian like that in Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> this idiot now has the nerve to nudge me and say, you know, sometimes you have to talk. I'm like, what the fuck you mean? Like, sometimes don't, you have don't to bro talk me. to these people. What do you mean these people? Are you mad? Look at my skin, dummy. I'm with them. So that's it. You, if, if we still argue, 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 talk about these type of things and marginalizations, it's cool. But how about women step up? So for example, since Lauren Hill ain't none. Okay, maybe. What's her name Rhapsody. again? Rhapsody. No. Ooh. Um, the tomboy girl. Quilatifa. MIA. Quilatifa. Is it Mia. Young, young MA? Young, young, young MA, I say MIA. Young MA. I mean, I'm talking lyrically. Like young MA be saying some shit, and I'm like, whoa. Like, do you remember that album that <clears throat> Lil Kim had that had uh, my niggas, tag figures? Whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa. Yeah. That's the Poetry Light is up album. Guys withdrew the album from release that period now. Because because Poetry Light up was so hot. Check how many rap, male rappers drop album that period we put your letters up album drop. Check. Niggas push their shit back. Because it was too hot. That's how I mean I want to see my woman. <clears throat> Not that, you know. You know, they're marginalizing. <laughs> they're marginalizing victim. everybody somehow, some way. We're black. We're, we're aesthetically marginalized. marginalized. God damn. In beauty, they, they marginalize us. So we're out here acting like there are no yellow day of Lagos in Nigeria. Okay, let's have those conversations. Maybe all these big, big grammar arguments can also go into pretty much doing proper work to making sure that the girl child doesn't grow up thinking it's okay to think she's being marginalized and is a problem. What if she grows up being someone who can't be marginalized? There's the Alakija woman, isn't she? Mm. Didn't she employ men? <laughs> And I'm sure a lot of men there are probably marginalizing <laughs> some women, right? But the, is yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, be. Yeah. So the drive I want for women is more of the step up and take the space. Lauren Hill too. I think it was Jay that had the line say, I'm the male version of Lauren Hill. Do you know what it means for a male rapper to say it's the male version of a female, female rapper? rapper? Yeah. I just want you to know that Tolani no rates Lauren Hill. You, you don't you don't rate Lauren Hill. No, I don't I don't think it's fair that people call her one of the greatest rappers of all time. <clears throat> of well, all time. But you can but you can apply logic and see that not too many women 
I played on that level. Bruh, that <clears throat> she was with Prime Praz. Yeah. And Wyclef Jean. And stood out <laughs> easily. Is she not the only one out of them that was on a record with Bob Marley? Yeah. That did a, a sample, yes? Yeah. Bruh, like what are we talking about? She held it down. But is it but when people, I don't think it's fair because I don't think it, she has a longevity. Exactly. You just I mean the one she work. did you miss that one and mm-hmm. then to match to match it with the fugitives, no problem. Yes, but then how but, do you argue something that she never did? All you have as proof is what she did. And if it, another thing that you guys that are custodians of the watch, yeah, you totally forget that you're not custodians of the act. Mm. You may be custodians of the news around the act, mm-hmm. but you're not custodians of the act. Say, for example, people expect you had a conversation with me, <clears throat> and you said, "Oh, so that period I dropped early, Momo, you could have dropped the album." Yeah, that's the funny thing. From the custodians of what you do, yeah, it makes sense. Hmm. For an artist, he may just not have felt the energy to drop it then, and it's okay. The artist must always follow his own instincts. Then you cannot analyze this, the following of his own instinct. So what what what's the best? Yeah, yeah. But you must as an it's the same thing I've always said to Yom Yom since the first time he said to me that he wants to become an influencer. Lead your narrative. So if they all your shit, you could also say you talk him. Shout out to uh, shout, shout out to Yom Yom. Yom, Yom. And, I was on his neck today. Why why I'm even giving this shout out to Yom Yom? I mean, is that short? So um, <laughs> what were you doing that you were? <laughs> Your guy yeah, give you one. <laughs> well, best I don't give plenty to do for social media. You know the idea of yum yum now offering now. Uh. Oh my <laughs> so lord! Boy, all of you come and yum join. Yum yum. <laughs> oh my god! Yum yum is the only. Yum is the only, yum yum is the only <clears throat> organic music influencer. Yeah, organic. It's funny because that was the when he said ah say Buzz V. That's what he says Buzz V. I I, for, I would like to do. I was like yeah, just stay as you, be you, my package. Don't do our own music um, um, version of putting dollar on your ear and making phone call. Just waiting, you know, no I make you talk. Because there was a time that he really got on the wrong side of some people and they <laughs> yeah, were going to get that. him. I remember He's that. lucky that he knew me. I remember that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very serious. Yes. And I, I said to him, like, you also have to be careful because you're in the world. <laughs> you're in the world and you don't know every reality that exists but yeah. other than that as long as it's okay for them to beat you for what you're saying mm-hmm. and you t- say it <laughs> so that's it but shout outs to him he's been he's been very honest with his stuff like organic you try and catch him saying what you tell you i said he'll quote it for you yeah. before you no 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 you the, bring back what he said yum 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 they cook <laughs> Yum yum, 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 yum. Yum. melody and cool. But you know, let's let's start something now, oh right? Because we're yum yum the cool. We're supposed to try get yum yum like no ad like ad. <laughs> but she's always but no oh, why yum, yum. why yum, why he's always cooking cooking women cooking us and he never but, lies. But you know the funny thing is cooking women. But you know the funny thing is, is he wrong? Tell yes. me one thing. Is yeah, that's that that wrong. That's, wrong. that's the thing. If you can bring one. I'm yo- and we're going to bring him as a guest. If you are going yeah. to have arguments with men, uh, just always bear in mind that men are more logical than emotional. I think that's just something they say. I don't think that's it's true. true now. No, that's just something. Give they me a, say. okay. How do you think men are not illogical? Men make a lot of illogical decisions. We have we have like men, no no no. I'm, no. I'm going to go into it. We yeah. have men who are leaders that make terrible decisions. Oh, we don't have just, women that make terrible. No, decisions. They, no. There is a logic to terrible decision making too. But the fact that you are logical, shouldn't you know the right thing to do? Don't, logic. Do you do, think men don't make logic, emotional decisions? Logic doesn't mean morals. But don't. Do you think mm. men do? Wait, do you think mm. men do not make? Stay there. Wait. See. No. 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 Wait. No, there's, there's Let's no, marinate no, your soul. No, Please. Nah. No, nah. No, no. hold, hold, hold that thought. No. Vest. Let's not marginalize the woman. Uh, you know. You know what's happening behind you. You know what happened behind you. you. That's what happened <laughs> behind you. Please. 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 But the conclusion can make sense mm-hmm. because be of same. context. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, for the sake of argument, all chairs are black. This is a red chair, so therefore it is not a chair, but it is a chair. Yeah. But there's logic there, yes. Mm-hmm. That's it. So look at it this way, melody. Mm-hmm. If a man is dying, right? 
The man is dying. The man is getting burned to death. Mm-hmm. I don't have a legal um I don't have a legal obligation to save him. But I don't have a moral obligation to save him. Yeah. That's that's the answer. But if you say I'm not saving him, you walk away. Yeah, is it logical? Yeah. Is it logical? Yeah, it is if you want. But is it moral? No, it's not. Exactly. Is like Putin making well. a logical <laughs> decision yeah, to invade down. Ukraine? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a logical it's one. A logi- logical it's one. a very logical one. You know why? It's a very logical decision. We're not saying his actions are, ju- are it's justified. Moral. It's, it's not moral. moral. But he's saying logically that everywhere that they've put a base they've come to around... They've, the leader has died yeah. or something has so, happened. So this is me protecting myself. Bruh, simple. do you understand? I'm not protecting myself. You are entering the colony that was me before. Yes. That was mine. You're entering my territory. <laughs> yeah, and it's not like saying there's a base in Ibadan, but Lagos is safe. How? Before the plane take off to higher altitude, don't they Lagos yeah. this now? Well, but but people can also refer to that decision kiosk. as emotional. What decision? Him deciding to, to start In what war. way? You so, No, you see now, he decided to start a war right like you said mm-hmm. hmm. but the logical side of what we're saying is the reason behind why he decided there's always so now what at least we can say it's camouflage yeah. yeah the reason behind why he went into that war is that you guys are coming close nato is headed by who who runs nato um, Do you, is she america controlling it is, behind is she the america, is she america how far is america it? from russia russia is more it's closer to china yeah. than it is to america so he's saying <laughs> you're in America, but you want to have a base. My open enemy, oh. far away from America, closer to in the guy backyard. that both of you are ranking on nuclear. Bro, of course now. Don't act like you don't know espionage. So it's I'm not justifying the death of thousands of, of people. You know. mm-hmm. I'm not justifying the invasion of privacy or mm-hmm. any of that. We're saying it is not moral, but we can see the logic behind yeah. what he said. Yeah. Maybe because not what... America was also trying to invade him. Yeah. Okay, so let's bring this to let's bring this to politics in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. And we know that politics in Nigeria is heavily, you know, we have men at the hem of affairs when it comes to politics in Nigeria. Do you think anything about our political scene has been logical so far? Yes. Yeah. What part of it? The way politics has played in Nigeria goes in line logically like with the saying that politics is a dirty game, which is a normal thing I in like Nigeria. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's logic. I like this answer. But the way the con- the way we have politics being handled here, the way we have with today, we're always hearing this is happening. Your presence has is not moral. Money. Is, how is it logical? Melody. Those things happen. So how me, is it logical? Me, Somebody me, saying that he, he should mm. we should vote for him for president. Because he has put people. I like the I like the fact that she mentioned Tinubu. You know why? It is logical in the sense that if you want to gather people and gather votes, how he's moved has proven factually, with proof, that, that he got into power, and he puts people into power. Mm-hmm. The logic of his movement makes sense. So him complaining makes sense to him. In, like no, not, no, his complaint is making sense to him. It makes sense right? to him, yes. But we can also see the logic behind why he's confident enough to behave this way because he really did. He put, lived, he's about that life. Put people on them. and melody. So you have to understand that logic is decentralized. Morality is centralized. The tenets of logic are decentralized. So that means insp- different inspirations behind different logical conclusions. Oh, logical argument. He has the right to support who he wants to support. Is it moral to support a bad leader? No. 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 Exactly. So, but if people respond to that need or that want or that or the rant and all the conversation and say this is an emotional rant, people that's can just say a, that. That's, the response is not necessarily the body; it's not the original instance. The response is after the original instance. So, the original instance is the logical argument. The response now is the response. So, what people say is objection hearsay. <laughs> but they, well. I don't think there's anything logical about it, but it's fine. I mean, it's so fine. I don't, look, I don't yeah, even you don't think, think there's anything logical about what about you corrupt thinking politicians? about the way politi- uh, politics is happening in Nigeria. About you thinking that it is okay for you to be president just on the premise of now. Now you, what you're doing now is you're encroaching arguments. Mm-hmm. Mm. I didn't say it's okay, right? You're judging his personal character by your values by your values and that's okay nobody's telling you not to do that emotional damage no no no, no. i'm actually not judging his character what you did just now you said you said i think it is wrong i I, I don't think it's logical 
I didn't use wrong. No, you you said you don't think it's <laughs> wait, you don't think it's logical for him to behave that way. <laughs> to feel he he deserves to be president. We never he, said it was a logical no. thing. We said it is logical that he used whatever means he used to get power. And so that's the logic, i.e. All wait, all politicians are powerful. Bolatinubu is a politician, politician so therefore Bolatinubu is powerful. That's a logical argument. Does it morally make sense? No. Maybe not. And you also have to understand something. The fact that Bolatinubu wants to run for president is logical. Yeah. Why shouldn't he? Why shouldn't he? He has every right to run for... The way he chooses to... Is, is, see, Why okay, not? A good example of this... He has also be, even explained his logic. A good example of Which this would be Boko Haram. A good example of this would be Boko Haram. It is logical that they don't want an infiltration of of Western, a, Western systems since, yeah. to spoil their core values. But how they are going about it is illogical. Is wrong. Hmm. Is it wrong or illogical? You wrong. keep using wrong. Wrong. But the it conversation is, is about logic and emotion. The logic of saying you don't want an infiltration mm-hmm. of your original being, yourself, because you don't want to change, especially if you have seen how they are and it doesn't appeal to you. It's not in line with your values. It's not in line with your values and morals. It's a logical thing to not want that. <laughs> I like I like this. Mm-hmm. It's a logical thing to not want Western influence to destroy your personal peace. But if you are fighting the government, fight the government. Why are you killing people who are not the government? And if you mm-hmm. believe the people are the government, why haven't you killed some of your people? Hmm. So you see, I can get the logic of not want wanting to have your way as it as is and not having intruders but then again how are you an intruder <laughs> because you don't want an intruder and melody this is why <laughs> this is this is why the law is not emotional yeah this is why yes. law doesn't law doesn't care yeah. the law doesn't care about your emotions that's it's why facts. they are saying objection hearsay because a judge can sit down and somebody can say you know so this guy said he made him feel bad though and it can just prick pity mm-hmm. <laughs> in the judge and in the i think it's called the there are fallacies of those there are fallacies of hasty generalization there's fallacy of appeal to pity mm. so lawyers will know that because i did the philosophy of law right so i would know certain things that lawyers know to avoid yeah because it's just going to bring automatic empathy especially if there's a jury hmm hmm so they won't let you objection go illogical they go knock because you. You can be illogical and form moral and it will now help you win a case that is not moral. Also explains why the even even jury selection is important for lawyers. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they find yes. things that are in their case that can appeal to them. To, to, yes. To, to, so, to the, someone to the jury. But that but that but that's why sometimes we have people who are we have people who have lost belief in the justice system. Congrats to them. But because because when we sit and say the law law is not emotional law is not law sometimes is not. it is depending on who I don't know depending on it's not it is it's not is it it is or you want it to be I feel like sometimes sometimes it can be, it can be. It can be that's what you mean so you can't say like that if there is a presiding is judge that is a woman and no. there is a no let's him flank <laughs> now okay. Okay. If there's a presiding judge that is a woman. And there's a case against another woman, and she knows in her heart of hearts that this person this, did that. This she. person, no, not, she, she's not guilty, but they are trying to bully her because she's not right. It can prick her the to woman say, in her. protect this person. Wait now, because no, it happens. Yes, no, now, it be done, but, be, but, but because, it does happen. But because that's how no. justice truly is served. Mm. But you must be careful with the fallacy of appeal to pity, if it is based on hearsay that cannot be substantiated. With real and real, real evidence. That's why the symbol of justice, the woman is blindfolded. Bam. If you can't sub- you know, so if it's not, if you don't have proof. So, for example, like, that's why I said to you, there is no proof that, you cannot prove to me that every woman existence is being marginalized against. But you can tell me what exactly your reality is. But The name of this episode is Free Game. So, <laughs> Vector is giving you free game. Please, free please. game. So this marginalization <laughs> conversation is actually very, is very it's broad. It's and, very and, broad. And I dare, I, because very, people and I, and I are not, suffering. Yes, and we dare not act like we don't that, know that yes. that exists. And also, there are stereotypes, whether or hey, not. No, but you I'm are, removing you from the stereotype. I'm plugging you the into system, the game. Has the system removed me? They're removing what me. What system are you talking about? The system we live in. The world we live in. The same in. system that makes men go and die for other people's sins. Ooh. The same system that makes it. 
casual for men to go to war and just die. That's what I'm saying. Now other people sins. Yeah. I have people fight. You you're here telling me about look at ghost thing. workers. <laughs> No, the face with the marginalization <laughs> theory compared to me and you with yeah. our fact and proof right now. Yeah. I can call somebody in my degree right now. But nobody seems to want to argue about those, not even the women that are talking about marginalization. Preach. <laughs> yes, now because equality so, equality is for everybody. I'm for equality everywhere. I'm shooting video and they're underpaying a woman. I'm here on social media fighting for her. And I'm the one paying. And it caused a huge rift in their industry. So I'm saying to you, what is what is you arguing about the marginalization of women alone when you're also aware that men are being marginalized? How equitable would that be? So, the, okay. Wah, so, wah, <laughs> wah. <laughs> it's not wah, wah, wah. It's just going to be so much back and forth. The women are the but ones fighting. Good. The women it's are the ones fighting for themselves. I don't. I don't. Who is fighting for men? So men should fight for them. Exactly. So. We, we, look, we, whilst we're fighting for ourselves, should we not be considering people that are saying they're being marginalized, especially when majority of the people that this thing blows through their path, they really don't marginalize against women. What do right? you mean? You are, for me, every time you tell me about marginalization, I'm like, marginalized? Well, my mother is a strong person in our family. My mother is a pivot in my family. My sisters are hardworking women. They bullied you too. I have a sister. <laughs> eh? I have a sister that is sickle cell hmm. and she carries... She don't burn three, one die. Go and ask whether a sickle cell can give birth. Hmm. They're not allowed. My hmm. sister don't burn two. You know if you carry Jomiloju, you, a melody, no worry, your back go break. So your imagine, back, your spine not cut So imagine, <laughs> I, imagine, imagine how she do. So, but then, I know better than to expect everybody's story to be like my sister's, of right? But I'm telling you that it's not every time that... There are more things. I think you can empower women so that marginal marginalization can reduce because men will follow the money too. Facts. Yeah. So yes, let women rise up greater. They will say the industry does like, bruh, me as a man, if I tell you I take become Vector the Viper, I know if we tell you finish. Because they didn't allow, they didn't allow me to. Who? The industry and the powers that be. But nobody ever sits down and talk about how, for example, up and coming male artists are marginalized beyond. Well, women are marginalized, but it's because they are mostly demanding sex from them and stuff. Yeah. But men, and after, you know that one, once you demand on Boko Jari, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, buying show, you don't move. But man, nobody want that come now, except if you're Ghana woman. So it's money. He pays so it's his way. So his life, he's life is going to work hard and do all that. And I'm saying, I'm not trying to die down a woman's struggle because a man too has his own struggles. Okay. Mm. I'm just saying to you that. In the argument of how men think logically, right? Let's just take it back to this because I know we spoke about like how, okay, women are being marginalized and I said it to you. But this man told you something that I feel like, okay, if Melody be the guy for a year now, you report to her. Mm. How are you marginalized then? He does now do. He reports to a woman even. He reports to so me now do. I report, I report to a team of women. So he you see what I'm saying? I'm saying no. let's highlight that. That Motolani... As much as he might be masculine in his and a madman, but he reports <laughs> to a bunch of women. Nobody's going to see that side. And we are talking about women that can, you know, are more emotional than logical. So if she's emotionally on the negative side, Tolani's job that day is on fire. <laughs> Imagine someone's job being on fire. That is fucking crazy. So let's just advance and let's make it clear let's because advance. Melody and their people have to say, he's talking down our pain and our struggle. No, I'm oh, just actually. saying, rise up Melody's from the pain and the struggle yeah. and do something. <laughs> Lauren Hill did. She did. Lil Kim did. Mariah Carey did. Nicki Minaj did. Nicki Minaj did. Um, T.Y. Did. Bello did. T.Y. Savage. T.Y. Savage did. Shout Bello. Will there be plenty, plenty hiccups on the road? Yes, the same for every man. But it's time for women to just, you know, that Khadija is running for presidency. Mm. Khadija Lamini, Lamidi Okunu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's support the you. APC, that woman, that woman the APC gorgeous. gubernatorial candidate yeah, for Adamwa is a woman. Yeah, I saw that. 
So, and how many women That's are really too. carrying that on their head? People are talking about it. it's ridiculous. Are they supporting it's it? Not ridiculously. It's, uh, people, not oh, ridiculously. But, but I saw it now. That you saw it doesn't. Why do you think you are the center of the universe? You keep doing this thing. But you I feel like if I did like, a good number of women who did, why do you think they didn't? Yeah, I, I not feel like ridiculous. ridiculous. So do you feel like because you have a good job, a good number of women have a good job? No. Ooh. Oh God! But so you have to do that. You didn't no, cook no. noodles. This man they cook swallow. <laughs> 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 I see you say be low. Not really. No, see. You have to play to that, no, to that no, agenda, really. I have two daughters that are growing up. What are you talking about? Like, there is no way my daughter is going to walk into a place and feel ma- marginal. God punish marginalization. Hmm. There's, I'm, that's how I'm raising her. Like, I'm raising her to grow up into the mentality of anywhere you enter, as long as a human being did there, she can not. That's some period. That's some period. Like, bro, don't worry yourself. If if my daughter gas learn martial arts, I know women when they beat men for martial arts. You they tell me say that they imagine, bro, get up. No, Lagos and get on get the big person scared there. We. Oh, that's in Lagos Island. <laughs> yes, as you get the big man, no worry. Wait, no. If they they lift, you go lift past men. Even <sighs> nobody they marginalize them. We know we know entertainers that their wives have even hit them. Mm. I mean, in this Nigeria. Oh, I'm not talking Johnny Depp. Let's talk about that Johnny Depp situation. It's not. It's not. Oh, did you follow it? it? Did you follow the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation? In and out. Everybody was posting it. So yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but did you actively seek the information? Everything was open there. I mean, like it was, yeah, it, it, it was so. It was so out there. Meticulous detailing was a bit. It was stretched out because obviously Amber Heard wasn't a saint. Yeah. And the move she made first was bold of her considering how many things that she too probably did i said probably because i don't I, I wasn't there but from all the things that he said and how come on all the tapes that they were they were playing, playing in court johnny was always calm not all the tapes some tapes he was very aggressive yeah. very, and very yeah, violent well okay gotcha but it, it, it was I don't, that's why I don't want to delve, dive into it because I don't know too much about it. Yeah. But it's obvious that if you want, they say he wants, he who wants equity must come with clean hands. Yeah. You go make them mm-hmm. destroy person life because of claim where you claim. But when they come in, investigate deep inside them, you are not a saint. Baba, it passed. As a matter of fact, you they mad. Let me be clear. Let me ask you, you did mad. Johnny ever beat her? According to her, yes. And according to certain people, yes. But according to facts on table, who hurt who? Both of them hurt each other. So, no, no, no. Yeah, no, they, no. they did, actually. So, did, who chopped off whose finger? She, she said he did. Finger. He said... She, she said, said he, he chopped did. off his own finger? Yep. She said... He said he did. He said he chopped off his own he finger? He said she did. She said she didn't. And then they called the paramedics, though. Yeah. Wait, so... The but did he, that so, did, did he ever injure her? She said he did. Yeah, no, but no, what happened they, to but, that? But knowing the Amber Heard, she would have had, if she had proof of all these other things, she, uh, uh, if person beat you, you go take picture Melody, of your scan. I think she had one Melody, where she know, showed you know a case. grab. I do. So yeah. if, I now. now in my head, <laughs> just listening to all those things, I'm like, it's obvious Amber is lying now. She lied um, a lot of times. She did. So And yeah. she threw him under the bus before. That's, that's where she lost. So I, now the argument is not about whether she they was right they, or they're black yeah. your like, hand is unclean. even though you know say you they br- I, I want to believe that from what i heard she don't hit her more than he don't hit her possibly yeah. but i think he also hit her yeah i said more yeah possibly because there's been more about her doing the most yeah. to him yeah. okay let me not say hit now because that may be a bit too direct let's say she's um abusive abusive abused him yeah a lot of time. There's evidence as on someone, the table states that as someone who she followed this case, him more. Yeah. as someone who followed the case, yeah. the trial ended up showing her as the more violent person. Yeah, maybe and that's a, maybe that's a case of Johnny Depp's lawyers knowing their shit and being able to prove it better than her own that, lawyers. But from what we heard, but from everything that happened in court, the jury left all of us outside left with this woman is the violent Beautiful. person. This is a good ang- argument of logic over emotion. But did that, but Ooh. so, 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 um, so a lot of, so, um, except making reference to the fact that a lot of people left the case, a lot of people who followed the case, I followed the case, he followed the case, both of us followed the case, like, extensively. I think Tulani too did yesterday. Not as much. Not, not as much. Not, not as much. Both of us were really obsessed with the case. So he said that he, a lot of people came out of that case seeing her as the more abusive person. Yeah. 
that is possible. Lots of people went into the. What do you think? I'm headed there. Lots of people went into that situation. No, but then you just discredit the, you like yeah, what you said. Just kind of like yeah. because of the sake of argument. And I pay it. I told you right, right the other time to one step at a time. <laughs> okay. The only way to get what exactly is going on is now. You just said, you know, possibly. Now nah, you just gave a shabby answer towards something. Now nah, I asked you a direct question. I said I'm getting there. No, that I don't. I'm asking you, what do you think at the end of the trial? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so like I, at the end of the trial, who was the more abusive one? <laughs> no, let me tell you. Chef. No, let me chef. tell you. Chef. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. No, let me say. Let me say. Something. Are you here? Wait, wait, wait. Vector, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I said I was headed somewhere. Wait. Are you here for me? Melody, let me tell you. I thought you were nightwear. Melody. Hello, Melody. I want to thank you for inviting Vector. This is the greatest thing I've done on this podcast. See how Gorilla. How Gorilla they kiss. Now, let me tell you something. Vector. <laughs> let me tell you something. What? Kevin has not what I was just to do. Where is the kiss? Where Chef's is the, kiss. Where is the give? Vector. Chef's kiss. Okay, so, um, Vector, to respond to your question, right? Yeah. At the end of the trial, I felt so many things. First and foremost, I felt... I was ask how many things you felt. <laughs> no, no, no. See, because we, okay. we will okay, not beat around the bush. Okay, so I just, the question? Okay. I just said, at the end of the trial, who do you feel was the more abusive one? Amber. <sighs> So, see, here's what I think about the case. Mm-hmm. Amber. Um, I've always been on record saying the only thing that happened... So, Excel is... I don't know anybody that followed... Ex- I think Excel even followed the case when I met it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Excel so. was excellent, didn't it? <laughs> he, was, he excelled Big at Johnny Depp fan. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, Depp please chill. Um, and those will help that those guys did televise every episode. Every yes, you yeah. did. You did. So, I think the relationship was made up of two people two incredibly incredibly damaged and toxic individuals yep. mm-hmm. who should have never been married yep that's number one i think they should like they should have never that marriage should never have happened as much as amber is i think there was there was evidence in court that she's schizophrenic yeah they brought her right? psychologist yeah exactly schizophrenic bipolar um, bipolar some other things how how are we sure that's not a scheme but let's go on. it's possible it's her own psychologist I, though I lie. Yeah, it, maybe possible. they thought it would work in her favor. Pity, pity. Yeah. I'm sure it did. Oh no, it didn't. I lie. The money would have been bigger. <laughs> now fifty million, Baba Sufo. Yeah, and the money brilliant. would have been bigger. But let's ten. let you land. So, like you, chef, you must come to Pity. Must come with, with clean hands. She didn't come with clean hands. And that's all. And that's she all lost, he wanted. She lost the perception battle. And Johnny Depp then had brilliant lawyers. So the argument she made two arguments that this person abused her and this person sexually, sexually um, abused violated. her, violated her, right? Johnny Depp's lawyers were so smart. Their claim was never about the physical, the physical abuse, because they knew that they could it, never win that. Mm-hmm. Because in the marriage, as much as this person, there must, there, there might be a preponderance of the abuse, physical yeah. abuse to one side. Mm. They both abuse, abuse each other. So yeah. in court, you, you might not be able to claim for that. So what they did was this sexual abuse. This sexual abuse was the happen. crux of the matter, and it that was the crux That's of the defamation suit. Well, it, it, it's, but Johnny Depp also said that he never hit her. That's. Bro, what's he, what, that's that's what's he supposed to say? What's he supposed to say? He said he never hit Bro, her. Bro, no, the amount of lies lie. that we saw, I think that's a lie. Amber Heard in highlights just threw out there, like Hadouken. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> you are, you are, you are, both of them were lying at Yes! Black yes. Sister, so sister now, man. where yes. where equality is going to come man. from this argument of, say, marginalization? Because she tried to do that as well. With that's her, that, that's right? the point. Where equality is going to come from is, is we are going to learn to start to tell ourselves the truth. What do you mean in this case? In this Amber Heard In and this Johnny case, Depp right? Case. Cop, I see that there was love. At some point, yeah. I think there is serious, like, it. I think Amber ruined it. How so? The person where Carrie Case go caught first and I spoiled the entire relationship. Oh. The person we first, uh, who, who sued who first? No, they divorced. They she, were divorced. She, she filed for a divorce. So first. after they were divorced, mm-hmm. she wrote an article in the Washington Post. The person we first cast them in the open. Yeah. Nine spoiler. Um, Up Ed. Yeah, she like she's the first because I think whatever it was, there was a court case in England. In England, she, that sued, him, she, yeah. won. she sued him. That was she that won. the first case? Yeah, that was the first. That case. was the first time. Yeah, exactly. The first so Yoruba Gotose 
to ba ti lo a le jo lo court ka pada wa ma sure na they're not they the go court come back come be friends yeah. they don't scatter everything right so the moment when she go there especially if if then go into details <coughs> of what you claim you know be saint yeah so in that opened she never presented herself as someone that was equally violent yes even though she that had a, a psychologist yeah. or therapist that can validate that she's bipolar and yeah. she whatever it is so yeah. the fights would be more from the angle of she did that to do something to him yeah so that was what he won based off yeah like that's what yes. and that is he all he needed to remove malice that was a malicious. Do you know how yes, long? Do you know how long it took Chris Brown to? Wasn't Chris Brown crying at the BET? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before he was like, okay, like because I, for example, I've been in a situation whereby I've been initially assaulted by my ex because somebody told her that they saw me in the club acting single, not that I was rocking babes, not that I was grabbing yash. You were acting they said they, they said I was acting single. How? And when I heard that, I was like, "Oh, Rodo Lily, as I tried to go and I call her slap." She slapped you. Yeah. What did you do? What do you want? I'll leave that detail out of the conversation. Oh. I don't believe anybody should be assaulted. Fair enough. Man or woman, slap the pain, oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what? Like saying relief. What? <laughs> You said oh you, you gave me a hesitating yes, yeah, so I'm look I'm I'm waiting for what it you should, say. It shouldn't hit her back. No, I'm just you no. Said, I'm saying no. I said no. It's not about me hitting her back. Mm. It's there's something I said. Slap the pain, and you said mm, yeah. No, so, I didn't say mm, yeah. The I'm woman saying, is I said, better to slap. No, I said, I said yeah. I said yeah. Like, I think the slap from a woman is not painful. Excel, just I'm, we're trying to f- figure Excel. out what your so, wait no you guys should not do that you said <laughs> you said this bro you said slap wait no you said slap the hurt <laughs> and I said yeah like yeah I agree okay that's all yeah alright cool so <laughs> just very fine that's very fine like I don't believe I don't care whether your hand is paper sometimes it's not the pain of the slap that is the insult is the condescendence upon which you thought it was okay to slap to slap someone so what it make you think say and a slap is very this person ele na ko gba oju because in the talk and he talk one thing where you know like Boost. don't like them i'm not saying stories. anybody should respond <laughs> they tell me slap too no, no. Yeah, i'm not saying anybody should, like i buy watch for my friend in case I don't tell and slap before you feel explain, say now vector travel buy me wristwatch now. Nah. <laughs> uh-uh. Ah, yeah, if you talk. Oh yeah, let... because we don't. My guy. Slap is just going round. Bro, if we sit down and break down what our exes have done, a lot of you just go and hide your face in shame, and that's not because facts. your arguments are shameful, but because what the fuck are women doing? And that's facts only. <laughs> and that's not facts all only. women, but my guy. You don't understand what men just swallow and not say anything. That should be a tweet. Not all women, but my guy. Dot dot dot. <laughs> like you don't, you don't. So if we sit down, we break it down, bruh. I've seen situations where women were trying to destroy a relationship between a man and his family just for spite. We've all seen a woman put a son up on social media and tell him, say, your dad is a stupid father. The boy is ever knowing anything stupid, daddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we've also seen a man, we've also seen a man tell his child that the child's mother is a hoe, being future. Well, they have told Did this he, he recorded it and put it on social media? He was on social media. The wife wait, wait, did... wait. He recorded, he said, say your mother is a hoe and he recorded it. What was it? I think it was the wife. It was the baby. I can't remember. It was the baby mama. Baby mama. Baby mama, mama came to tell us. Posted, was posted. So baby, she came to say came it. to tell us. Ele <laughs> yini Nigeria, o gba mo esi waju camera. O to phone, oni pe say your daddy is a bastard daddy. Say, I, I don't know what exactly it was. Say, shame, ne kini ka daddy, the, the innocent, innocent child, child himself. Something daddy. You know what that wait, does you to you the father mentally. Wait, you think it's funny. <laughs> you know, do you know what that does? No, to it's funny to laugh about that, right? Because that boy is going to become a damaged kid yeah. when he sees that, and imagine how he's going to deal with women. Hmm. Actually, when he when this when that boy understands <laughs> the gravity of oh, what he does, so, yeah, 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 because it's heavy. This thing I'm saying to you is heavy because 
I've seen it for so long, but I can't say anything it's because so it's ridiculous. almost as though, yeah, it's almost as though you're, is our we, they say that they marginalize me and say no, but that they marginalize me. I know that type of argument is not, what about is, is, yeah. yeah, it's, it's back and forth forever. Yeah, but if we go into things that men don't say, whether or not everybody agrees, that boy is going to wake up one day and see that thing on the internet. There's going to be one idiot clown that say you that you it's really abuse your papa when you're yeah. small. When they are talking. And that's a trigger. And my G. So we're all out here acting like we don't know that men are being silent more than they mm. should be. But guess what? Is what you must do as a man. So maybe women are not getting in on the plan because a man has to be a man. And all the women that understand how it means to be a man, whether by observance of their brother or their father, they have a better life with men. Mm. They have a better relationship with men. I won't say better life because I don't know what their love life or anything is, but they have a better relationship with men. I've met women who know exactly what the pain of a man is because they've looked at their fathers. I said, guy, nobody's even... Yeah. Nobody will send this guy. They, and on Mother's Day, they will shower mommy more than Father's Day where they will shower that daddy's probably not even home. Father's Day is not a now. Even, for, even the father will tell you that, give it to your mother. So, but we're not that's, that's again saying women don't go through what they're going through. But in this Amber Heard case, it was obvious that, and if we check worst of both of them, it was obvious again that she was holding on to him. Hmm. She was killing him but holding on to him. She be the milk with the baba. I won't say she was milking him because there was love. Yes. So he was happy to But do she it, was yeah. killing him and holding on to him. Why do you think men have shorter life expectancy, like yeah. you said? Because a man can't say half of the shit that he deals with. Hmm. One, for one in society he's a bitch <laughs> he's whining women think they are good listeners but they're not women no they are uh, yeah, they are nice. excellent listeners so they know what but to hold. in many cases is for is for vindictiveness is for no don't no, no, don't say don't say for you let's not let's not okay fair, it's, it right. might be for a variety of reasons listen i'm telling you boss your head eh? If men are allowed to be very, very honest, a lot of women will hide their faces in shame. Yeah, I agree. Including mothers. I agree. Mm. If I men agree. are very honest, I agree. You see this you're talking about? If men are very honest, especially the things they hear, women will argue mostly from the pain they felt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is why it's illogical for arguments, the way society has made it now, that a woman beat a man and he felt pain. They will almost laugh at that before they think he makes any Amber sense. Heard, there's a video of Amber Heard saying, there's go tell them, Johnny. Yeah. Tell them that a woman beat you yes, and see no. who they're going to believe. Exactly. So, it's, it's, And we can't deny the fact that women know that the society plays heavy on the muscle mass of men mm -hmm. as a deciding factor in whether Power a dynamics. man should be assaulted or dynamics, not. Yeah. So let's be clear. I'm not marginalizing any woman. Every woman I've met in my life, me why they do conscious with I tell I say, bro, if you get side chick, treat them well. <laughs> so, so Vector, what's what's your what's your take on side chicken? Side chicken. Mm. If they put a nail jollof rice, it'd be nice. <laughs> I hope, th I, hope, I hope that was not your attempt at a digress. No, it's not. I'm we are not done, no. You, you know, the, 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 oh, we are loving the fact that okay. this conversation is... No, yeah. we, no, we're not roasting you. It's but being honest. Victor, please, just stay on the side that you are. Let's not do this, please. <laughs> Stay, here, what, stay where you are. Wait, what side is he on? What side you think I'm what on? What side is he on? What side are you on? I've been on my side, my G. Oh, good. Yeah, I've been on my side. Oh. Like, what? I'm patronizing Mel you. Mel 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 no, you're not. What are you selling, no, you're Melody? Cook you're cooking me. I'm cooking you. Yeah. Do you think you'll be delicious afterwards? Shiki. Because they never get their cookie. Because it's bitter. Be like, that's where they side chicken. <laughs> Vector, what do you, what's your take on side chicken? I don't have a take on side chicks. Why? Back to topic. Thank I don't you very have a much. take now. He doesn't have a take. He doesn't want to have it. Like, why? Why? I don't. I just don't. Why does he want to have a thing? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Of Nazareth. I don't have a, it's a it's a delicate. It's a, if we talk this, he go pay you. Why you go pay me? Because many men believe say many women and they push them really go do side chick matter. So for example, I have a friend who got married and they were in the house and they were watching TV and he gets a text and he looks at and he says, "Why don't you talk to me?" It's Madame that texted him. Yes, and she's right next to him. I don't get why did she do that. So let's not talk about side chicks, please. <laughs> please. See, I, I feel like I feel like women need to do a bit more 
research about men away from emotional attachments. Oh. Maybe they should logically analyze what men are. Because there's a reason why man no get menopause. There's a God-built natural reason why men don't have menopause. Women need to start to evaluate those things appropriately, not as a determinant factor of our life or greatness, just as knowing what men are. So if you want to talk about side chicks, are you sure you really want to del- dive into why men have side chicks were created chicks. for men too. Some people, some men are just only she know. This one she know Peter's. She we approach you. Approach you. That's black magic. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> black, dynamite. <laughs> black dynamite. Black dynamite. Yeah. We can call that oh right? Like, but that's the funny thing. I would like to use this to reach out and say, yo, maybe the argument should be a bit more logic based. When when there's a woman that feels like marginalization is a thing, let's not generalize it. There's also a fallacy of hasty generalization. There's that of appeal to pity, but there's also that of hasty generalization. And I guess logic has helped men avoid the fallacy of hasty generalization a lot since they don't speak. Mm, Because we take time. Yes, they don't speak. Like me, when my ex, they give me lamba. Now let me know, I mean, maybe my inner circle because it was frustrating. Hmm. It really was. Like there are women who, I've unfortunately dealt with a lot of them in my life. There are women who, it is that exact thing that they, uh, a woman has told me before, that's why your father is dead. Ha! Huh? Well, that, that's just the tip of that. But you know that women can be really nasty. See, yeah. like, oh, so you understand, gosh. but me knowing the kind of relationship I have with my dad, and you thought about everything in this life like to, you used to make him. me feel uncomfortable. And you said, that's why your father is dead. That's another thing that women do that I hate. That's something that happened. Men do it. That's too. something that happened Melody, Melody. in Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's case. One of the things they brought out in court was Johnny Depp, the lawyers were telling a story that Johnny Depp has been very open about his, re- his relationship with, with his, his parents. Mo- with his mother. Right? His I mother think now, he, father. his father was very abusive. Was his mom towards his mom so he grew up in a household of shouting beating and stuff like that and he has decided that's not what he wants that's to not be. what he wants so there's a recording they played where they were like where um where she was telling him anytime i want to argue and quarrel with you you go and lock yourself in a room yeah, you I lock heard, yourself I heard that clip. you lock yourself in the bedroom and he's like i lock myself you know why he's he, he he's responding like you know why i don't want this and your own is even worse he escalates into Bruh, i have an ex that violence. this was this was the conversation we had like you're always trying to avoid conversations it's dumb that's why i'm avoiding it for example we had fights because they said i was acting single in the club what should i say you know I wasn't really doing that. I don't even know what the fuck that means. That's even, that's just wild. That's just even wild. Vector, are we going to act like we don't know what it means for someone to say you're acting single? What does it mean? So, when you say Vector is acting single in the club, right? (laughs) (laughs) Vector, Vector is like, really, did you say that? Do not buy into her silliness. (laughs) Vector. You are going to explain to a silly person. What it means to be acting single. So, you, is it this? You know, <laughs> is that what you did? <laughs> like, like, how do you act single? They didn't say they saw him rocking babes or he came with a babe or anything. They said they saw him in the club acting single. What does it mean? I say, I don't know what that means. Melody, before your audience of distinguished ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, what does acting single mean? The audience. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Melody, look to the camera. What is align, align the camera no. well, make your face. Melody, you know, be smart. Please. You don't say our president they address country. Yes, I do. <laughs> so Melody, now, eh? Because of the melody of this music, where you don't start. You look that camera there. Yes. Yo, zoom in. My, my, <laughs> zoom in to Melody. Give her close shots. So my fellow Nigerians. <laughs> I start. No, uh, please, you can. Have you zoomed in? <laughs> with, with this on the wine, you know. My phone is like. So it's all about my illiterate. You know, can't come and say, I don't know. No, you must zoom in. Uh, I, I, think, I must look out. <laughs> no, you have zoomed in. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Deja. Oh <laughs> my God. The, oh, Melody, you like you. I wanted you to tell the Nigerians what it means to be acting single. Without rocking babes. I don't know. Do you know? No, no, no. no, no. No, no, no. Melody. The floor is yours. Have it. <laughs> <laughs> so in the context of, I don't know what she meant. She you do not? <laughs> wow. <laughs> A revelation. <laughs> Always, I do not necessarily know what she means by acting single, but when when they say someone is acting single, maybe maybe you went to the club and you were unnecessarily friendly towards the ladies. Maybe you were being unnecessarily friendly. Maybe we're being unnecessarily. Okay, wait. Even though that's a lie, even though I, that's not true. Sorry. Mm-hmm. What do you mean by being unnecessarily friendly towards yeah. when you've been unnecessarily touchy? It's a celebrity. So, see, so yeah. being unnecessarily touchy, or you know, you have, I don't know, I don't know. Being unnecessarily touchy, being around the ladies, just just there. Well, I just I just told you that you're not rocking any girl. Melody, you're always dancing with male artists on your Instagram. Should your boyfriend think you're unnecessarily friendly? That's a very. Has he have your boyfriend? Give him an extra like. <laughs> we're ordering. See, we're ordering from um, Melody Pizza. What extra like Excel? Excel <laughs> size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the toppings, you know. Ah! Look, wouldn't 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 that be a st- wouldn't that be a stupid? Ah! Oh, <laughs> shout out to Kelvin, shout out to Kelvin. Kelvin is going to attach a video of me. Oh <laughs> Please edit that, nice, real nice. And if you give her yeah, she fuck up. <laughs> wouldn't that be a stupid? If you do the same way that they do, they fuck up. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a stupid statement? But Vector, I want to ask you something. To be very honest, jokes aside, do you yeah. understand how someone who is with you can just be insecure based off of who you I've are? I've broken up with somebody based on insecurity. But do you understand how that can be? What, is in, that you have what does insecurity mean? <sighs> we have women that are insecure. Kelvin is in heaven. Wait, like, <laughs> Having so, so much fun. So we have people, not women, we have people who say because of insecurity... When you're a man, they knock. You they cover your belly. Yes. Or you don't turn on. You know they knock. That yeah, like literally. You, wait. Do you think the man no no save the belly? Oh, that, I mean, that, use restaurant. If you use restaurant, if you cover <laughs> cover no, the belly, that can be insensitive because people are shamed for looking at certain melody. Really. But you can't judge what the man likes. Wait now. See, you say with, with melody, we do it one step at a time. Fair <laughs> enough. It's, that's uh, that's how I've learned. On radio, I was like, okay, this person you like today. You know how. And it's not just her. It's a typical thing that I've seen in this in this society. Now Nigeria police is going to be the master of that thing. We would talk. We would scatter the talk. Come talk their own points. You come and say, um. So this is where we were going. We were not here before. Right? They accuse me of that. Oh yeah. So it's you were saying how somebody can be acting single. We were done with that. What is this other thing you said? Just insecurity. Insecurity. Like what? What are you insecure about? You are popular. You're fine. Ladies like you. You didn't know that before you came. You didn't know that before you started dating. Well, came on two uh, on two episodes. (laughs) You didn't know that. I mean, first the arrival, the second the arrival. (laughs) In this life, you come and you go. (laughs) No, like story of my life. (laughs) Oh, come on! I have a woman, but she knows. Don't you understand? If it's by that one, this person that is telling me that uh, that they told her that I was acting single, the saw that side of the story and I said the person given that G is most likely self one jambe but not really send them. <laughs> so you see the funny thing? Be careful the people you fight for. Yeah. Be careful the people you fight for. So what is insecurity again, please? Okay, so um, Boko Haram in the north. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> how are we the, go- the government's bandits? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Unknown government, you gem. So, <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> what does it mean to be insecure? So, it depends. It, it, it means different things to different people. What's the most universally applicable understanding of insecurity? So, insecurity is um universally and depends I, I rephrase what do you think so yeah okay, what, what do, you think do, is the most what do i think i, I, I think that when someone say that they're insecure about something or they feel insecure about something they basically feel when they experience such things or when they find themselves in such situations they feel maybe smaller 
So they lack confidence about those things. Yes. So is there a remedy for lack of confidence? Of course there is. What do you think it is? Uh, I don't. You, I, I think self confidence. I, I think you need to know yourself. I think you need to believe in yourself. I think you need to hype yourself more. I think you need to. And I also feel like sometimes the people around you can contribute to your to. No, your that's 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 the first step to going wrong. Oh. When yes. they're born, there are no people around you except your mother and the doctor and stuff. And those people, mm. the doctor, you probably don't see them again until you're sick if you use the hospital still. So how is it that opinions that are not original to you affect your original opinion? Do you feel better? <laughs> do you, feel, you you know you're a fine person? Yes. Do you feel, do you feel differently when someone you love <clears throat> repeats it to you? Repeats what to me? Tells you, oh my God, you're looking so fine. Do you feel differently knowing that you're, you know you're a fine person? I like it. I don't feel different. I just like, like, hey, hey, you, like the same way I would say to my mama too, man, you can't find it today. The way you just did. Like, why are we, what? I, I, I don't blame people who are insecure though. I feel like it's foundational yeah. knowledge about yeah. the self. Hence why I said to you, my daughters are growing exactly everything I wish every woman could be. Strength of mind. Hmm. So the remedy for insecurity. Did you watch The Pursuit of Happiness? Yeah. Yeah. Will Smith? Yeah. There was no very vital lesson that Will Smith showed everybody in our church. They say more watch and so I see all of them, they talk that you know, Pastor and I go say, you know, you, so know, what you, know, you have to look up to God, you know, and just hope for the better and you know, keep working hard and everything. And there's one thing Will Smith did that wasn't necessarily a highlight for a lot of people in the conversations we had afterwards. And that's he accepted huh. his fate. I have a son. I don't have a house. God punish you. If me, I sleep for granted, you will sleep for granted. Our worst is I'll protect you more than I'll protect myself, but we're here together. <clears throat> Once you accept the holistic idea of who you are, what then will break you down? Eight Mile. Mm -hmm. Eminem versus Rabbit. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Everybody who watch a movie and come and say, they look, whoosh, whoosh, actor can't kick the ball, whoosh, they can't fight. Nobody's seen seems... what they're saying to you clearly yeah. because it's right <clears throat> there. And Eminem was dissing himself. So the guy couldn't diss him anymore. Yeah, no so when you come to terms with the fact, do you know, even I suffered this because growing up in the barracks, it almost felt like, you know, every other person, their father is, you know, one wealthy person, you know, General and I, I it didn't make it any easier for me because I went to command children's school, bunny camp. Then I went to St. Gregory's. St. Gregory's. Then I went to government college, VI. Then in Jebudi Grammar School, right? But I ended up in St. Gregory's at the end. And in St. Gregory's, there were half caste kids, there were quarter caste kids, there were rich kids, there were Taiwo to here and Teja. There were plenty right there. If you didn't build self confidence, or if you don't build self confidence, you will never have it. Mm -hmm. Because the only person that can build self-confidence is Tada you. yourself. Tada. <laughs> Tada. Yes, no. So we can understand that people are insecure, but why? I mean, I had a relationship and I tried to I'm like, yo, you don't like, you fine no. I be vector, who oh. you look say days ago. Ah now you are there without of all the options. Oh. But it was too much. And I was like, I'm ah, not be me long to my buy now. <laughs> yes, now like you, fight your demons, like I'm telling you, you're a babe. I'll, I'll, you go horseback riding in public with me. Hmm. In first class. That's how open we were. Everything was. Uh, what you can't do. And if you see her, you go to say not the most confident. Yeah, like, that, so, that, that's something I'll never understand. So if you can life. act this way. And it's just mind positioning, yeah. yes? Yeah. It's just mind programming. Like, yeah. you know you're insecure, but in certain instances, you... Project the you biggest project amount of the confidence. the biggest amount of confidence. I'm like, that's all it takes. Yeah. Just keep projecting that confidence to Apply yourself. it across board. So me, I hate when a woman is insecure about the belly that she can go and do sit-ups about. Not unless it's a medical condition. Yeah. Or say whether yeah. even if you just born picking and everything, like, cool, you know, it's but why are you insecure about it? That's you. Me, the moment I start to feel in, not insecure, I feel uncomfortable about my weight, I hit the gym. 
But I'm not every day for me gym body or gym rat or anything. But I'm like, ah, like that way. We be seeing your six packs. You don't need be like, you, be, you know, when be like Pierre. Mm. We, when you hit the gym, we know Vector. We see it. We yeah. see it so, on yeah, social. And, and I'm lucky because that's how my focus. dad was. My dad <laughs> left Nigeria to fight with the United Nations. It's Port Bailey and came back looking like semi Johnny Bravo. <coughs> that's wild. Wow. Yeah, like my other brother, if he does push up, but why does he carry all the weights for his life? Hmm. The body. Yeah, so we, we have jeans that are good. In yeah, that light that light. yeah. Even I feel like, you know what? You need to chisel. I like your thing. We should have the squid word. Oh, it's in bikini bottom now. But the Malak is a mom or two, and he's bikini bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, bikini or the re bottom. You like it. I can't believe Vector just made a SpongeBob joke. That's wild. SpongeBob. Is it what SpongeBob? Patrick's stupidity is elite. Ah, Patrick, why now? <laughs> Why, Patrick? It'd be like, I boss said, my daughter used to watch this freestyle battle from anime and animation. So I think there was a battle between Patrick and Sonic. Okay. And there was a battle between Super Mario and Sonic. Ah. <laughs> <coughs> Super Mario told Sonic, that's why your girl is always taken. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Guess who introduced me to it? My daughter. Wow. <clears throat> that's why your girl is always taking. And it's a musical, yeah. That's why your girl is and always taking. I'm like, wait, this one just says Mario. That's why. Even throw Bowser in. <laughs> and she busts my head. Right? So, like, taking it back to the conversation of self confidence, you have to build it yourself. So, I don't know what you mean by, will I understand if I'm in a relationship? If I cannot help my woman to be confident enough about my babe, eh, I guess I'm say, say, I like makeup. I like red lipstick. I'm a fan of red lipstick, See. right? Hmm. Right. But I beg, ma, they they used to your original beauty, eh? <laughs> ma, no Congo they tire because there'll be days where you're not feeling like doing makeup. And if I go out, because if I don't get used to them, see, human beings get comfortable the moment you yeah. provide comfort. Yeah. <clears throat> so is you see, like, okay, hey, if you if you go out and you now start to tie into that reality that is your everyday life plenty makeup it means you're going to find a lot of women attractive like your wife because a lot of women do makeup but i want to be able to recognize her beauty with or without makeup but that's me so i know the yes say i need to be insecurity now you i like as a matter of fact beyond your beauty i like your person so how can you be secure insecure with somebody that likes your person I'm not perfect. I can act in ways that make you feel insecure, insecure. But then again, that was your reaction. It doesn't necessarily have to be my intention. Because my intention is not to break your spirit. I may falter. But then again, you act like you didn't know that man is not perfect. <clears throat> so it's your job as a man in a woman's life. If she has insecurities to kill it. And if you can't kill it, leave it because it will kill you. That's true. You, you, I'm not saying no try to help people, but now able bodied man with fog will get up by himself. Oh. Yeah, I know if you talk about disabled bodied man, no, because they go up down and get up. But if you do able bodied, like excel fall now, and in the ground, they laugh. And when he laugh, finish, you go stand up. up. <laughs> so if you're insecure and you and you know, because you can be insecure and not be, a, yeah. be aware that yeah, it yeah, affects yeah. your life, yeah, it's then left to you to make sure that you know. It doesn't affect your life. It doesn't hold you back. Even if it means strengthening <clears throat> your belief self. in the self. That's also why Nigeria is the way it is. Most people don't have belief in the self. Speaking about Nigeria being the way it is, like when in the political season, do you think celebrities should engage the conversation? Because a lot of times people talk about how when serious things are happening, celebrities do not engage the conversation. What type of celebrities are you talking about? The ones we have now. So here's the thing about celebrities and elections. And, and, and I'm politics. a musician. And politics, yeah. You don't think you're a celebrity? You know, you're a cel- I, I don't know. I'm a celebrity, but I'm a musician. First. Celebrity well, a cel- is a process after something. So, some people are makeup artists, celebrities. Some people are politicians. Let's, na- let's narrow it down to artists. So, artists, those are people of the opinion. Musicians, celebrities. Like musicians, okay, celebrities. Gotcha. Yeah. So, it's but, a... So, people have been having opinions on social, right? Say, for mm-hmm. example, some days ago, Brian Moe had an opinion about... City Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> he had an opinion about City Boy, right? Mm-hmm. Which was very logical but guess what it was get it got killed for it right it's okay and so it felt it felt like people had 
they were judging celebrities through two lenses or through one lens that runs through two different times so in the past celebrities have backed used their star power to back certain politicians right and the influence sort of helped the politicians to break through and then during answers they all came out and said, oh my God, vote real, came some, something. And now that they're expressing their views for certain politicians, even though some of those things might be reasonable, people are trying to kill it. I follow them now. You follow who now? I follow them. The politician. I mean, the celebrities. The celebrities now. It is spoil your timeline, Abby. <laughs> no, no, that's not what this is about, Victor. Oh this is not about spoiling your that timeline. Is, it means take the influence from them. Oh, good. Yes, but also physically unfollow them. Yes, now, you don't stand for what they stand for. Should they stand for that? Should who? The celebrities stand for that. It's about, if it makes sense, it's, 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 it's about preference for them. But if it makes... So, for example, there's somebody that I like his person. But the moment he decide to, you know, for um, Instagram, just begin, they say, I don't care what you say, can you cut, can you cut, unfollow. You know, be fights. If you see me tomorrow, ah, Baba, you unfollow me. I don't like the place where you align that period. And I don't think I'll ever like it because if that person becomes president, he will frustrate everybody. And all of you are only going to do one thing with the money they gave you, leave the country. Oh, but well. If this is not enough reason for you to know whether they should be engaging it and how they should be engaging it. Because at the end of the day, the people that are suffering from the political, the political classes stupidity are the people that we call our fans. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So if you're going to engage, you better engage knowing that the suffer that will come if at all will touch your fans the blessing that will come if at all will, will touch, touch, your touch your fans so yeah feel free to engage as long as you are aware because if nigeria had covid no let people do plenty plenty dance music again now nah. <laughs> that's wild mm. yes or mali the tempo of music also changed <laughs> It slowed down. The yeah. tempo slowed down. It yeah. did. The tempo slowed down because people started to scrutinize yeah. the type of music that because it was hard times. Everybody yeah. was locked in. Yeah. So it wasn't just okay to be dancing and kicking everywhere. And everywhere. At some point, people wanted to listen to music. So it has also affected the music industry now. Mm. Yeah. It has. So it goes a long way to show you that what happens to the people affects your business. I'm more interested in Nigeria now more than ever. Why is that? I don't know. I'm just more patriotic now more than ever, but in the real idea of what it means to be patriotic. I'm patriotic away from tribal sentiments. I'm patriotic away from religious sentiments. I'm patriotic away, but I'm just, I don't even think patriotic is what like I, but I'm just spiritually connecting to my essence. Fair enough. <clears throat> ah, Shion was doing a record. That, I say this a lot in the other interviews because I really like that that project. You and who? Shion Kuti. Shion Kuti. Yes, I was doing a record with Black Thoughts. Ooh. Um, That's crazy. I always like to, like, rap my verse i don't like me to post it because it's not out yet but i like to use it in conversations because it's exactly what i believe in mm -hmm. <clears throat> it goes i heard about a martin luther king teaching people of his dream then i heard of malcolm x teaching people to respect but first i heard about fella on the radio and screens and how the government only dealt with him being really mean he was telling everybody his account of what he saw the same account you probably see if you reason it to the fore about a true african dream by using african means to save african means you know what african means the cradle we may have lost the artifacts away. You can steal the clay pot, but what's the artifacts to clay? Ooh. Hmm. What I'm trying to say is the spirits are back. I take flights right where Moses was at. Atuni Mosori Moladi, I'm holding the staff like everybody get down. It's easy. I'm aware now what it means to be the ultimate human being hmm. Hmm. in connection with the spirit of your essence, which can only begin from the land that you were born. So my patriotism in Nigeria is more spiritual because that's where we need to be. And by spirit, I mean the spirit of language over the practice of language. So I don't give a fuck if you're Yoruba. If your spirit is not in line with what it means yeah. to be Yoruba, fuck off. Yeah. Whether you're a king or not. Yeah, I think we will not forget my met him once. <laughs> what did you tell him? <clears throat> So, sir, you know, if you become the president, you are the father of the nation according to African belief. Yes, yes, I'm your father. I'm the father. <laughs> so, and that means all of us are your children. You say, yes, they're all my children. I'll take care of all my girls. Okay. So, what are your plans for the people who dig federal roads so that they can be portals, so that they can be traffic, so that they can sell gala? 
That's the thing. It's oh yeah, it's not just marginalization that's happening in Nigeria. Capitalism, bro. <laughs> what did he say? Nothing. He spoke in Morse code of blinking. Vector, <laughs> 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 please. Now we 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 now don't destroy our video <laughs> now. What's your problem now? <laughs> Let him express it. <laughs> and I remember before we had that conversation. <laughs> they are laughing. See the bus man. Oh we had a conversation. They were like, <laughs> they called everybody. And I said, well, for me to come, you're going to pay me for my time. Hmm. Who said that? I did. Okay. Yeah. And they paid me for my time, and I got there, and, and then I said, so guys, we're done. You know, that's all we take for now. And I was like, excuse me, that's how you feel. You don't listen to everybody. And I think it says, let that young man speak. I was like, ah, yeah. And that was when I asked him the question. But I didn't ask him the question to ridicule him. I don't care. I learned to not care about the the, the corruption and the stealing. Because technically, if now you did that position, you will not let them catch you easy. So we're set back on a long stretch. However, I have my own ideas of how we can make it work. Make what work now? What are the things happening in Nigeria? What's the idea? I'll just leave it at one adage where the university on Okon Waja. Mm. Everybody's going at it a particular way. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that way is wrong. But how long have we been on that way? 62 years. It's time to look at other things. And is and I can't even say it's on here because yeah. but it's simple. It's actually very simple. If I say it on it's going to be like, oh, you know, my big. It's giving some people ideas, but it's simple. It's not hard to govern the people. The people govern themselves. <laughs> You're just a figurehead. You're just representing the people governing themselves. But you then have to create an environment that makes them governing themselves easy. Easy. A system that works. It can't be easy if it's not based on true love. Yeah, away from Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba. Away from what, 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 what? Even if they say secession. We can be together apart. So I'm not saying anything about that, but I'm saying that oh, there are ways about it. So with the politicians and how artists are doing that, I feel like that's betrayal on your fans. Because it's them that are the, that, that that become the people that are suffering. It's, a, that's it's wild. them that are the people you are singing about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now. <laughs> Victor, what's that song? <laughs> People are dying, mothers are crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's like, yeah, now they come and give you passion that is. Very I mean, I had, hmm. I had strong PTSD after answers. I couldn't sleep. So a lot of people will see me during that answer. I'm like, he looks so unkept, bro. I didn't understand what the fuck was going on, and I be barrack boy. But I can tell you why it's that way. Mm. Have you been to the barracks? Mm. Go. <laughs> See if anybody coming out of that place should be saying, not can be saying, should be saying. Hmm. Go to the barracks and see if anybody coming out of Falomo Barracks that is near car park. The car park fine past the barrack. <laughs> that W bar car park. If fine past Falomo Barracks, the people where they go call when they get the for W bar police. Hmm. Hmm. So before you go and support politicians, eh, you know, hmm. support well. Do you think, do you think, but do you think that NSAS made something wake up in people? Yes. At least NSAS made you, made you understand that Christians can clear the floor for Muslims to pray. A madness, we, like it was wild. And stand and protect them whilst they pray. And Muslims can clear the floor for Christians to worship and stand and protect them whilst they worship. Feel, so it feels like when we find something that is bigger than us. But we've always had something that's bigger than us. We just we've just not had the mentality that we can unite. And we did that and it was beautiful to it see. Was. So even within that fucking pain, I saw beauty and I saw the hope that everybody was, you know, that what couldn't be factual or tangible. Yeah. I saw it right there. Even though I don't understand why people ran away when I got there. When? When I got to the Tokyo, people they ja. When? When? You go with goons. But, I wouldn't move in that way without a bunch of guys. Fair enough. On Lagos Island, that protest had 6,000 youths. Their videos. We didn't go to Togates. <laughs> the, the Lagos Island was a real thing. So, yes, it woke people up, especially that palliative. Mm. 
mm. with a discover for Barnes. <clears throat> that was the most callous no. representation of the no, leaders Nigeria. in Nigeria. God because damn the food it. was there. And people were hungry. People were hungry and you were keeping it. You know what it means for Gary to spoil And stop rice. there getting spoiled. You know it no, 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 let's, let's go deep into it. You know how long it takes for rice to, to spoil? spoil? It takes. Like and, the, and the bad conditions you must have kept the rice. But it was in the, it was well kept. Warehouse. It was warehoused. And <laughs> rice spoiled. You know how long it takes for Gary to spoil as well as especially when Watan went out. Yes. And all those things they spoil. It was very clear then that it was more of a target. It was more of a weaponization of poverty. We've always heard it, but that was the only proof that I saw. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I feel like it woke a, a, a couple people up. It, it, hunger is a bitch, though. So some people are still starving and they feel like that's what it is. However, if nobody stupidity, where they do them? The food where scars go grow if we plant them for Nigeria or mm -hmm. for Lagos. Downstairs now, if you throw it beans now, before how many days, if both small or tie, don't germinate. Our soil is healthy as fuck. We don't use anything. Like, bro, in in different places in the world, people have gardens where they plant their little yeah. things that they yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. In Nigeria, too, some people have ugu and things there. Mm -hmm. But how many beer for after I don't get ugu now? Speaking about this entire situation, so someone wrote a um, wrote a book, the sorry, so oh my book. Lord. The white it, woman, it, the white woman who wrote the book, and Nigerians were upset that a white oh. woman wrote a book talking about how she. Nigerians will never encourage this type of the type of um, no, we never. Nigerians haven't seemed to encourage the type of event that will let it be possible that such a scenario is by a Nigerian. So what I mean by that Ooh. is, yes, Nigerians That's don't. The same thing as accent. Yeah, like, bruh, we have intelligent musicians. Most people just want to be where they want to be. So how then do we move forward? Dancing ahead. Like there are people you are going to do records with, and they do. I think because it's, I've featured with a rapper that all of you know that you super respect, and the reason why I did release like Seven Kilo was rapping too much. I'm not surprised. He was rapping too much. Um, I've been criticized for my knowledge base. I've been criticized because I'm Yoruba, but I'm not doing Yoruba music or whatever it is. But you think Sakai is Yoruba is not playing for Abiola Babes. Absolutely, <laughs> 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 shooting star. <laughs> But ah! but but is the anger misplaced? Being upset What's that anger? a white woman, you know, is writing our story no. and going on to say she named. No, the... it's, it's okay. It's, it's good for us to embarrass ourselves. Oof. But that's the truth. How so? How is it an embarrassment? If it is by okay, speaking against it, but, but it don't be the same reality of people where they support people we don't despoil Nigeria since inception. Okay. In our conference, what am I writing a book? We in an overgrid right. People criticize Bonaboy for documenting and house. No, wait before we get to Bonaboy. <laughs> it's the only Vector. problem with the scenario: the fact that it's a white woman, and the fact that she said she named the source. Right. But that's there's context to the there's use of that word. She said, she said, I called them, I called them, I, I named I them. The so okay, so okay, um, generation, generation. That's what she said, Abby. Yes, I named them. is it not the same Nigerians are saying America come to our aid? But this, this is not, this is not, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is retelling. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 but this is, I mean, one of your faves was, this is retelling was angry our story. With <laughs> what are you talking about? You, you, even what? if you didn't read history, you saw George Floyd. Yes, you probably didn't see Philando Castle or Trayvon Martin or any of these guys, but you saw George Floyd. Yeah. He's the same white people. That. You are calling to come and help you. CNN, come and see. Uh, this one, come and see. He's the same. The idea has always been taking your reality. To the white man. Well, no, it, the saying that way is making it look like you're not going to. They're taking reality, remixing it, and selling it to you from them. Hence, I named it. <laughs> I named them the source of the But I love you, I love you, I love you. But actually, I actually don't think, I, I think, 
my problem with that entire scenario is people tend to judge everything from the race lens oh i was gonna say it's inherited beef uh, exactly yeah it's not based on personal facts of disgust towards the act i think and i may be wrong but it just feels like ah, everybody hates has, white people well, but, no, but everybody has an the, argument against white people doing this so therefore wait, i must have an argument against white no people. Vector, but it's also white savior complex to come into a situation and say you named it's Don't white you understand what complex. I'm saying to you? You keep calling white people to come and save you. So why shouldn't like he's saying? <clears throat> who else you have to save your complex? When, 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 yeah, yeah, like when you're in trouble, when you are, when Buari, when Buari was using police, we were, we're calling, saying, "Come and help uh, us." UN, we were calling them. Um, so, okay, so now that we're fighting justice. against it, so we can. Are we? <laughs> are we not? but we're not fighting against it we're speaking up against it let's use the word speaking up against it and say we don't but want even, this even the conversations that we're having it's tainted social media is supposed to unfollow all the people in a get proof so they collect money but you don't need to say <laughs> but normally everybody we we get we, with facts and proof don't tell him i say i've joined politics they've given me money to go and share and you still get followers plenty. As a matter of fact, they more likely they increase. We stand on your mandate. <laughs> I mean, well, for the for for, for, me, for men of the woman date. <laughs> but, uh, oh, but we can't stand on your woman date. <laughs> I just like to tease you. Don't <laughs> Vector. I don't take this personal. You see, Vector. <laughs> don't be emotional. Just be logical. <laughs> it made sense logically. Yes, it does. I mean, I, I, I may feel like Ricky Gervais but, <laughs> right now, but it makes logical sense. If it is mandates, it's only logical for it to maybe oh, mandates. Mandates. Vector. Yes, ma. <laughs> no, but you are saying like I don't know why people are angry. I get why people are. I, I guess, guess why yeah. they may. Yeah. But it's not out of place. We are the ones that experienced it real life. Yes. How many writers have we have we seen that even the same people that are agreeing now have gone to support because they did something because there was a, somebody wrote about it earlier. A lot of yeah, black yeah. people covering. How you you guys don't fight then? What was the level of support we even? What's the level of support off? like? That, that I, I like hip hop and everything. Okay, do you buy the music? It's the same argument. Yeah, I like an artist, but you wait for him to do PR. Like, no. Justin Bieber fans follow everything that the first time that Justin Bieber did the record in Nigeria, we was with who? Wasn't Wiz. Okay, the one that, that blew up. Yeah, that was on radio that Bieber fans just started to point to the Nigerian timeline. It was it was it was the one with Wiz. It was? Essence, essence. It was essence it was, that they were there was on their one, head. There was one thing that Biba did that all the fans were what? It was it PR they went to do there. When like, saw, you are following an artist, but your, your their notification the notification is not on. And you're expecting an artist to be talking to you about PR or plugging music. He's an artist. What do you mean? No artist should be concerned about plugging music. Making music more so because the artist that starts to comp- comp- worry about plugging music automatically becomes a music business person mm. over a musician because then you're going to start to make what I call algorithm music. Mm. This is the one to make to make money or that people will like. What about the expressions inside? What about the art? Yeah, what about the expression inside the mm. art? What about that? Like, what prompted you to write the music? The people. Okay, you should work in the newspapers then. What prompts you to write music? My life. Have you heard anything I've said to you that is not physically sane? So, what headspace were you in when you wrote Ellie Mama? Fair question. Though. I couldn't sleep. Why couldn't you sleep? I don't know. I was like, you know, let me let me let me just go and make music. I went to the studio in the house. I played the beats. Hmm. You see many, many things. Oh, you had the beat already. For you. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Kleb, bad guy. <coughs> and Farabale. Yeah, I just left it. <laughs> you wish I was saying, you know, I was. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You wish he, I, I, I couldn't said, stroke her hair. Vector, so it wasn't anything inspired by, you know. I mean, if judging by my life, Till the period I wrote the record, yes, I probably have a billion and one inspirations. Hmm. Yeah, but that night was just basic. So nothing steamy happened that night before you went, sir. I was home alone. It's in no day. 
you know the no let it answers. go as in it, I, a lot of people they wish that i would say you know that you know i was at home and i was just horny <laughs> and she just came <laughs> then i came <laughs> In then this I went life, to you this come and you go. I mean, since we both came, we met in the middle, call it the Cambridge, huh? Vector, like really? I'm fucking <laughs> with you. Like, you guys want to hear some ridiculous stories, I might as well cook up some dumb shit. Like, you know what? I was in my degree with the soldiers. <laughs> and I was inspired. Yes, I was inspired by the gunshots to my left thorax. Two, 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 two. <laughs> two, two. <laughs> but really, it was just... I'm a walking encyclopedia of my experience in life, so I don't have to wait till there's one heated moment. Like, bruh, don't worry yourself. What I say in my music about women, I do to my women. And that's on period. Well, no. Of her period. That's not what I meant by bloody sex, but you be all right. <laughs> Just just we don't even yeah. need talk much. We are not we are not talking. We don't need to talk much today. Melo, melody. We don't need to talk much. <laughs> melo, melo, <laughs> melo, very <laughs> <laughs> No, but I know you like the song and I oh, yeah. love it. Uh, it's an but, great song. That's who I am. Great song. I'm more I'm more Ridiculous soul music, music than People just look for my they look for my trouble in rap. That's how they get hits. It. Uh, I don't care about that. <laughs> so when they don't look for your trouble, you're not looking but me, for your I was, trouble. I've told you, sir. me, I was angry that the album didn't drop last year. That's what the album didn't drop. She the only one they could just go revoice in voice. And the time I said, I don't know many, many to do this stuff. Like you could not plan album. You go say, okay, guy. So here's a you know sample. I'm say, I want to take man, and I know that feeling. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, so you feel like you need so something well. So you can't even well. be angry at him. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not. But and when he did that, I was like, oh, I see why. You now. see why? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so d- music for me is not based on. And he said, oh, like you should have just given us the same after. And I'm like, yeah, I get it because you're seeing it from the angle yeah. of your expertise. But I can't even say mine is an angle of expertise because I didn't train to be it. I just expressed and it got accepted. Mm. And I like that um, suspense. Like, I had somebody on my team who didn't believe any mama was going to do Jack. Hmm? That's not um how he, the first person I heard it before me was you. Yeah, you heard the song before me. Yeah. So when he heard the song, it was like, bruh, I, I called him. That song is coming. Yeah, and I, I was especially happy for two reasons. The song was good great. Good girl is my guy. Yeah. So now go and, a good guy early. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, she this is the good girl early I know. This yes. is the good girl early that sings. Okay, yeah, because even that's the funny thing about me. And I've decided to remove myself from all, from the mentality of the song is raining, drop your album then, because I'm more interested in moments that cannot be replicated. Mm. Hmm. Right. So that moment to good girl early, I had met her before, I heard her voice, but you know, until that day I was like, Oh yeah. Yeah. There's another record. Title is a chill. You guys have another record. Yeah. You think it's more essential? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not. I'm not fucking with you. But then again, you know people now gonna compete now. It's not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not yeah. to compare. But yeah. we had that music, the Budweiser event when I was having the record recording with um, what's his name? Osinachi Humble Smith. Humble okay. Smith. It was a different vibe because for me, music energy spirit is the most superior. Fuck the awards. Fuck the accolades. Fuck how you look. Fuck if your lips is pink. Fuck if it's black. Fuck if you're short. Fuck that. branding. Like, fuck all of that. Like all that bullshit that they've turned Nigerian music into that I've removed myself from. People are going to love this episode. I will not be part of it anymore. That's why I stopped entering for awards. It felt like everybody was just competing to be better than everybody. And that's the reason why you don't see each other even when you're deciding who your leader is. And I knew that wasn't for me anymore. Because everybody's so rooted in competition. Bruh, I passed my We get Jen talk for that kind of thing. I passed my neighbor. I passed my hmm. neighbor. That's, like that's how... That's, that's actually... That's so, wild. It, so it shows a mindset across the country. Competitiveness. To fundamental generator. war. And wouldn't that be a perfect way to divide and conquer them? Make of them course. Because of you, course. Of course. I said to somebody, how the fuck is a white man that is weak came to Africa that is bigger than their country? But people say stuff like and warn Africans to the point they turn them into slaves. Like, like 
is a tekete that they used. <laughs> Divide and conquer. Yes. yes, they turned you against each other because there's no way. And it made you. They put money in your pocket to use to use your. Are you online? Yeah. Are you online right now? Yeah. Google the real size of Africa. The real what? Land size mass. of Africa. Okay. No, okay. You go for my four. Yeah. And nobody told me this. I was I was on a plane. I say this every time because I feel like it could it could have been like a spiritual premonition moment because I was on a plane going to Uganda, flying over Ethiopia. Oh, we're coming to Lagos, one of them shot. And I looked out the window and to the vanishing point of the horizon, I didn't see water. Uh-uh. The African continent has a land area. Don't, don't read it, go to the images. Okay. Look at it by yourself. Yeah. Like they will put all the countries that fit in Africa there. Yeah. According to their research. <laughs> according to their research. Yeah, because I won't I can't validate it. Yeah. That, like, and it's right there. It's not, it hasn't been taken. Nobody has debunked it. Yeah. If anything, there are more <coughs> articles about how Africa really is in the size that is on the map. Hmm. Hmm. So the value that I started to see in myself is like, uh, uh, how is Africa now really originally this big and they were conquered? There's no way you can conquer a people of such strength from such a landmass. <coughs> they must have used you Against each other. Against each other. And the easiest way was to make you feel competitive. Who two and two sees one was more appropriate as a human being because the nose, and again, I don't quote me verbatim because yeah. I don't know how this really is, but it's said, alleged, that the base of the fight now say one is more human race than the other. They were calling the, one, they were, one was calling the other cockroaches. That's it. That's the only way they could have conquered us. Why do you think <laughs> you don't know the value? If you know this value of who we are, who the yes. fuck is a fucking dummy president? Are you mad? Do you know who we are? But most people don't know. Like most people would not know that Ado Hawaii Mountain is the only natural mountain that has a lake on top of it. The one in Colorado I hear is man-made. But Ado Hawaii has a lake on top of a mountain and the mountain has trees that are at least the ones i've seen 20 feet hmm. in my latest music video you see a tree growing on the mountain right there where i'm standing i'm there like there's a tree growing on a mountain there's also another rock that's so huge but you can't tip it. it's still it's tilted but you can't tip it over but we don't know these blessings that we have because like I said to my girlfriend, we don't use, we don't use makeup cover the natural things, so it's okay. Wow. Hmm. This, my this, 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 this has been like a very, 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 very insightful episode. I'm glad, Melody. Thank you for bringing. Do you have any regrets bringing Rector? None now. Oh, please None. shut up. <laughs> Really ah. loves me. Yeah, she does. She, she does. does. She does. She does. <laughs> Why are you listening to? Have you listened to the Kendrick album? No. I stopped listening to all those anything. I started to realize that my life was too. I was too dynamic. I am too dynamically blessed to have time. To, bruh, do you know how many gifted people are in Nigeria? Bruh, no, no offense. I know that I sing better than a larger percentage of the singers in Nigeria. This is not even rap. Like just sing. I sing better than them. Did you learn how to sing in the choir? <clears throat> I was in the, I was in the mass choir. There were only two lead tenors, myself and Tolu. So I learned music from the rudiments in Celestial Church of Christ. People didn't think the the vocal version of my name was ever possible. Like guys think that when I make music, I make music I want to make commercials, no success. Mm -mm. I sing better than your singers. On the, we can watch the choral. There's no auto tune on it. From A to Z. Not the choristers. Not me. There was no instrumental on it. Everything was voice done. But leave it to our people to always recognize when it's a bit too late, huh? I really worry about after your set in Nigerian hip hop. I don't know what's next again. Well, maybe you guys have to start to look right in front of you. You know how people in church want to worship God, but they are not looking right yeah, at yeah. God? <clears throat> like, 
For example, if the Bible says man was made in the likeness and image of God, <laughs> it means everywhere you see man, you see God. But no, you want to close your eyes and pray and meditate. You want to see one light. <laughs> right. Whereas if you look sun, they're not born you in. Uh, even though I tried it as a kid. <laughs> you to see God through the sun. No, I look at the sun directly. Direct 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 so. No, so I don't worry about the future because I've seen dope rappers. Hmm. But are they allowing them? Are you allowing them? Is I think it's a shameful thing that on social media, a lot of media personnel are coming out to say, you see why they say they want to plug music? Like, like it has become so okay. I pass my neighbor generator, that's how it begins. Mm -hmm. We let it become okay to validate music play on radio by the amount of money that you have. It's becoming a norm. It's a norm. It's, it's a norm. It's, it's I, I mean, there are still good people who don't, who don't take, you don't do pay for play. But for how long? And if we if we decide to let all these things continue, is why the country is going to get so fucked and it's going to get so more frustrating. But the people that are there encouraging the frustrations are not thinking we should be changing it. So it's okay for where you game out. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So that's it. I don't. Once the industry starts to accept normal order, so we don't have singers who are really not singers. To the world, Afrobeat, <laughs> <laughs> and the singers. There's Waje, there's Omar Omi, yeah. mm -hmm. there's Timmy Dakolo. Yeah. Um, I mean, shout out to Johnny Drill. He's held yeah. it down. Um, I feel like I've left out a lot of people that I know that can a sing. A lot, of course. A lot of them. Ask yourself, you're the media. You are the ones who break the music. I remember when DJs used to break records that became hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not because somebody pays or no, it's like mm. egg bo, yeah, egg bo, se, uh, wale, se. <laughs> it's good. Yes, it's good. Play him. You know, no play him. I'll play on you, hear him. If you don't like and call me bastard. You know be bastard, Sha. <laughs> <laughs> I know like yeah. I remember when I heard oh Lu Fumi, oh, it was umbrella. And I was like, shoo, jam. And I think it was Antonio Cruz. He said, I will play this again. Bam. Bam. And I just like, no worry. You know how they, how they say that thing now? Now, no, say now, now vibe. Hmm? When I was staying in my godo, I would play my music so loud, and neighbors never complained. So I got carried away and got used to it. So one day, my Remy's mom now came in. She now had a song off the album titled Mercy. She said, Ah, more like Corin, you go. Every time to buy play, you know me, man. <laughs> I'm like, wait. I'm playing music loud and she's just saying, I'm enjoying it. Anytime you play it, I'm just happy. It makes me feel good. If we don't get back on that track, you will further destroy the Nigeria that you're complaining about. Because then the music that needs to spark the minds that will do things that will encourage you even in your own everyday life would be lacking. Mm -hmm. So don't be worried or afraid of the future of rap. Nurture it. <laughs> If you I see can. them, support them. If you find me somebody that is dope, but then again, all the rappers too, they'll be able to say they don't be Africans. Respect is a big deal in Africa. That whole, um, yo, I'm a lyrically kill this nigga, especially <laughs> if you ain't lyrically killing shit, man, nigga. <laughs> like, yes, now, but you're the player. Yeah, you see some people say, uh, uh, God, please, please, they put comment on your page. Please, this is my music. I'm better than Whiskey. Oh, okay, my G. <laughs> <laughs> If you say congrats. So, congrats. Congrats. <laughs> I guess you're on your way, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Congrats. I'll look out for you on the next Grammys. You know? <laughs> if that is how you want me to hear about you. Mm. But then again, it's not encouraging for artists to be honest with their artistic expressions, even though it shouldn't be dependent on external factors, hmm. which is where I stand. Yes. Yeah. But then it's not cool for young people who don't have the mental stamina already to be artists yet. So we are we keep breeding people who mistakenly blow as who they are not. Mm. <laughs> if we don't stop, we're going to have a lot of suicides from musicians very yeah. soon. Yeah. Because he's going to already start to believe. It's kind of like, you know, how you said earlier, Momo. My engineer said, I don't know what you did at that record, man, but yo, the streets is loving it. We they need more of that shit. No, they don't. That's how they become addicts. I mean, so I not get carried away because I not do really, mama. Same, take it in time. bed. Mama fall on the bed. Yeah. Kakri, I'll just be there giving them in bed. You know, they'll be taking it in bed. I'm making more music. So I like, he's so sensual. Maddie Maxwell, Kale. <laughs> then 
when one other person that that is his own true nature will be say get natural sis pack you know yeah. he, you know he fine pass me top pass me everything you can't make me and that is his own true calling how do you keep up and the person will be running mad i spoke to kills and he said and he he he, he said, I understand that because there was a point where he hated performing wine in Amber, right? Because he really would say, yo, I got niggas going through shit in Nigeria. I said, be real. Why now? <laughs> yes, no. So that's it. It's, it's all with all of us. We all have, have a job to do. Let's encourage the rappers. You can't encourage all of them, but yes, segue. Those rappers who want to come out and beat the guy. Yeah. Your job is not, like, I don't understand. Have you looked at your surroundings? Especially those come and say, yo, my guns, you ain't got shit, my G. You that you can't blue banga. Right? Like, mm. oh, um, yo, my bitches, you ain't got none, my G. <laughs> like, yo, my weapons, who gave you? <laughs> Where you buy from? <laughs> we have weapons, you don't. I wouldn't even talk about it because it's not owned to be spoken about. And you also don't want to, you know, rappers I say you want to rap and everything, you want to grow and they think the idea of rap is, you know, beef and, you know, killing the other rapper. You are selling hate. Hmm. That's why it's half as people to accept any moment because, you know, I'm gangs, I'm a, I'm a rapper. <laughs> if you want to be kick calm. <laughs> say because you be hard guys, say no emotions. If you're picking a cry, slap and say don't cry. You're a, you're a man. <laughs> no, now you will not your child. Why are you acting like, but that doesn't mean shit because, well, you sh- we saw how Drake and McMill went. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. The soft nigga, huh? Even he said, "Wow, look at what's going on." <laughs> Especially that I said, "That's not what I meant when they said opening up." Say opening up to his woman or for his woman. Say opening for our stage. You don't know remember? Uh-uh. Drake or ain't you anywhere alone now? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he I took think it there. You he went, went there all the way. We call there. it a touchdown. Oh my lord! So that's it. I feel. It, it's all with us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we need to start to encourage the real music. No, I don't. I won't say real music. Mu- real music. Just encourage. Encourage music. Music, a variety of music. Yeah. Like there are people. Who, I know somebody who likes sad music. Yeah. Sad songs. That okay. that's what calms him down. So yeah. Other than that, I think we're fine. I think there are too many. There's a kid called Pedestrian. There's a kid called yeah, Kid. Pedestrian. Yeah. K E A D. There is. Um. I met this guy. Say, yo, it's faster. Yeah, your pops is faster than that, and with indigenous rappers, I've met like Alai Prof. I've met um, Alai Prof. Prof. Yes, That's Prof, our guy. Yeah. And this other guy, uh, there's this kid called QD. There are a bunch of them. Like yeah. there are a lot of them that. But you also can't just you can't help everybody. So sometimes you just have to you know do your best. But yeah, I mean, I think we're safe. VC, thank you so much for coming through. Thank you, you so much. Episode. Yeah. Well, really now, this melody episode. brought him here. You, do you know that about where we are? Since where we have been trying to bring Vector to, to this podcast, <laughs> you <laughs> didn't try. It. I tr- what? <laughs> you, me and you in the chat for what's up? Yes. You, what did you, you did, try? But did you tell him? Yes. What did you say, well, Vector? What, what did I say? It's been a while since I started the conversation. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Fair well, I mean, this is what happened. What it happened? And I like, I like oh, w- when in that part <laughs> happened. <laughs> so Rati, um. <laughs> Uh, what's his name? Shet. Small doctor. Tell him what you have to That's sharing it. You know the small doctor not catch me before as last man? What? Yeah. I've been caught by last man. Who was it? Small doctor. What? For real? <laughs> yes, you guys were not pranking. Man. No, he wasn't small doctor at the time. No, he was just, was was just, was just the last man. Ah, before he became small doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did you later? Was he the he one that now told you? <laughs> oh, he told you. He took my demo CD and tape that time. I was promoting my first album. What? Life is life is great. Small doctor. Small, small world. Mm. Life is That's great. That's fucking crazy. That's a great story. Yeah. Mm. That's actually a great story. So when he told you, what did you do? Nothing, no. <laughs> ah, bad guy. Yeah. No. It was funny because he said he kept the sticker and I don't know what it was for him, but I love him as a person. He's a great guy. Like, he's just, like, he's just chill. He's a great guy. And... You can you can now you know that you get it in mature person don't see a mm. old person don't see yeah. me. I said we don't see many many so yeah. Yeah. like imagine being last month official before you became an artist that transition you're like how you also drove keke. Brad, you know how many soldiers are musicians in my degree hmm. you know how many soldiers are DJs in my degree that play in my degree to just lift up morale hmm. this is just like best enough of video uh uh-uh. uh 
She be I go there with them. She, yeah. I went to, I went to yeah. the base in my degree with yeah. them. Yeah. Fuck. Great episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Vector, for coming through. We That's appreciate it. it. We love it. Thank you so Absolutely much. Absolutely love it. We out. Bye guys. Peace.